Hi, my name's Ian Ravenscroft. I'm an application engineer working at Delcam in the healthcare division. I'm here today to explain some of the new features you can find in Author Model Pro and Author Mill Pro. Those new features include the new design material codes in Author Model Pro and also in Author Mill Pro, the new background batch processing which automates all the milling processes for the users. If you want any more information about any of these elements, you can check out the new website or the learning zone. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the new features that have been incorporated into Orthomodel Orthomill Pro 2014 version. So the first new feature I'll show you is a couple of additional options that allow us to set up um, defaults. So on the Tools Options page, if I select the Orthomodel tab, in the bottom right hand corner of this tab, we've got a couple of new features. The first one is uh, thickness, so this allows us to set the default thickness of an orthotic design. If I change that value from its um, original zero value to a thickness of three and say OK, that means that now whenever I create a new design, as soon as we get to the patient details page, you'll notice that the default thickness is already uh, predefined. So that's quite a useful new feature. Again, back to uh, Tools Options Auth Model tab. Another new feature is the ability to change the view direction uh, when we're viewing imported foot scan data. So by default, uh, this view from bottom option is not active. So if I, again, hit the create new job option, but this time I'll select an orthotic design method which incorporates foot scan data. Okay, so I'll choose a left foot. And if you note there, the view direction by default is from the top. Now I'm going to cancel that. And again, I'm going to come to the Tools Options Auth Model, turn on this uh, View From Bottom option, and now repeat exactly the same process that I um, just did previously. Select the same scan data, and this time you can see that we're actually viewing the scan data from the opposite direction. Now this can be useful um, when you know the orientation of the scan data. So uh, in the one good example of this is when you're using an iCube scanner, you know the view direction um, that you need to have set for viewing the iCube data correctly. So the other area where we have a new default is again on the uh, Tools Options tab, um, Orthomill. At the bottom of the Orthomill tab, we've got some new table definition toolpath options. And this affects the way that the toolpaths are grouped together. So you can choose whether you're grouping toolpaths by block or grouping toolpaths that are similar. So if you group toolpaths by block, it means that Orthomill will try to machine as much as it can from one block from any one tool axis direction before it moves to the next block. If you activate the option to group similar toolpaths, it means that all toolpaths with a certain tool diameter will be machined on every block in the table definition. Okay, so that gives us a little bit more control over the grouping of, of toolpaths only for table definitions. So the next uh, new feature is a completely new um, definition that's been added into Orthomodel, uh, which is material definitions. So if I click the materials um, definitions option, you can see that on the left hand side we now have a list of all of the different material definitions um, that uh, we have currently in Ortho model. So at the moment I just have one material definition which is polypropylene. So I'm now going to create a new one. I'm going to call this material definition EVA and I'm going to say accept. Now you'll notice there that there are very very few options when you're creating these material definitions. It is literally just a name. Okay so in this case I've now got polypropylene and I've now got EVA material definitions stored in my materials um, library. Okay, so I'm going to save those changes so I've now got um, both of those options um, stored and if I now come to workpiece definitions Okay, so don't confuse workpiece definitions and material definitions. So workpiece definitions are blocks of material with a physical size an XYZ um, value. Okay, so I could have three EVA blocks in my workpiece definition and they would all they could all have different lengths, widths, and thicknesses. 
and they could all be material EVA, but they're physically different size of blocks. Okay, so um, the change for workpiece definitions is if I hit edit on one of these, so I'm going to edit my EVA workpiece definition, the new feature here is that we can now define default materials and default machining templates with each workpiece. So in this case, I'm editing the EVA workpiece, so I'm going to specify the default material um, for EVA workpiece is EVA, and the default machining template from my machining templates list is EVA out to in. And I'll then say accept. Let me just check polypropylene also has defaults, which it does. You can see the material for polypropylene is polypropylene, and the default machining template is this top plus centerline. Now both of these new features um, only have an effect if you're using the background batch processing. So if you're manually machining, uh, these have no effects uh, whatsoever. Okay, so the, um, the other new feature is the ability to define a material code when you're designing an orthotic. So here I'm going to say create a new job and I'm going to select the standard orthotic just so I can do a quick design. And the, uh, the new feature here is the ability to specify the material with this pull down list here. So let me type in uh, a name. Okay, and I can now set up all of the, the normal options I would for an orthotic design. So I'll say this is a UK men's size 9.5, which populates all of the sizes, values. Now the new feature is this one here, so every material definition I have in my list will appear in this pull down list so I can specify the type of material that this particular design will be created from. So in this case this will be an EVA uh, manufactured in, in EVA blocker material. So I can now specify this is a flat bottom and hit the apply button and we can then uh, create the design using the information entered so far. Okay, so that material definition is stored with the orthotic design when we perform a, a save operation. In this video, I'll show you the enhancements added to Orthomil Pro 2014 in the background batch processing functionality. Okay, so on the Orthomil tab, if I come to the um, Orthomil um, background processor, this feature was added into Orthomil in the 2013 version. Now in 2013, you could only ever um, have one machining method running. The extensions to the background processing functionality made in 2014 means that you can now set up as many milling methods as you want the background processing will automatically detect the material that a design is made from and it will select the appropriate machining defini definition uh, to machine that particular material type. Okay, so uh, there's a few new features on this um, form that I'll point out. Um, so, first thing I'll do is just open up my current list of batch config definitions and you can see that I only have one batch config definition which is called polypropylene. Now I make polypropylene and EVA designs so I want to create a new um, batch config definition and I'll rename the new one I'll give it a name of EVA and I'll hit the tick. So now I have two batch config definitions. Uh, polypropylene is already set up so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the correct defaults for machining EVA Okay, so my default workpiece definition, if I open up this list, I've got all my different workpieces, uh, so I'm going to select EVA. The material for the, linked to that workpiece definition is EVA. Now, likewise, the default machining template linked to the workpiece definition is automatically displayed here under the machine template. Now, I could optionally select this tick box option and change the defaults using the override um, option here. I'm happy with that as a default, so I'm going to leave that as EVA out to in. Um, moving down the list, uh, we can automatically create setup sheet information if we want. Now one useful feature here, if I make this active, is the ability to use um, PDF 
documentation. Now, some PDF writers allow you to automatically write out PDF files with default names. And these default names can be linked to the time the file is written, uh, plus other additional default file name options. So I've already set up this PDF creator, um, PDF printer, to automatically create the documentation for me. Okay, so one of the new elements on this form is the is active tick box. So if we want um, the background processing to use this EVA config file when we put it into processing mode, I have to hit the is active tick box option to make sure that this um, config is active at the time. So moving over to the right hand side of the form, um, we've got another new option here. So we've got the minimum number of orthotics that will be added into the block before processing starts. Okay, so here I'm going to say the block of material I've defined is only big enough for two orthotics. So the minimum is two. Um, and also, I'm going to say here that the maximum is two. So this means there's only ever going to be two orthotics loaded into my uh, block of material at any one time. I'll also um, turn on these two options. So the first one says keep orthotics, um, sorry, add orthotics regardless of the height. So I don't want to take any notice of the height. I just want the orthotics to be um, loaded and milled. Also, I'll turn on this tick box option, which, which always keeps pairs of orthotics um, in the same block, so that will stop any, if there's any single orthotics left in the list, it'll stop those from being used um, and added into the block. Positioning, I want my EVAs positioned at the bottom of the block. Uh, I've got the number of tabs set to zero. Um, we can, if we want as well, we can all alternately flip jobs, um, so as the orthotics are loaded, they're automatically flipped around as well. And we can optionally now as well turn on the rotate to minimum height option. Can be useful for uh, rigid orthotics to make sure we get high orthotics in a low block. Okay, so I've set up all of the defaults for my EVA milling. Now, importing, importantly, before we um, exit this form, before we do anything else with this form, I have to hit the save all button. When we hit save all, it will save any changes to any of the config definitions in this list. Okay, so I'm now ready to hit the start processing button. Um, when I hit start processing, we'll notice now that I've got both EVA and polypropylene in my active configurations. Now at the moment I've got no orthotics in the list waiting to be machined. Okay, so with that um, left processing, I'm going to come back to author model. I'm going to use the standard orthotic design. I'm going to go for a full foot design, which is EVA. So I'm going to call this one EVA. Material code is EVA. I'll say this is a UK men's size 10, thickness 3, flat bottom. And next, which will create uh, the design for us. I'm not going to add any additional information to this. I'm just going to hit the OK button to create my EVA style orthotics. Uh, I'm going to save this. I get a warning to tell me that uh, background processing is running, so this is likely to be machined automatically. Is that OK? So in that case, yes, it is. So as soon as the file saved, if we flip back to the author mill tab, you can see straight away the orthotics that we've just designed are in the list of jobs waiting to be machined. Um, the background processor recognizes the designs. It recognizes they're an EVA design, so it stops on the EVA milling method. It's loaded the EVA block, it's loaded the orthotics into the block, it's now calculating the EVA out to in toolpaths. Um, it's then going to post-process the, the file uh, to give me tape files. It will also create, in this case, the PDF documentation um, to accompany the tape files out to the shop floor. And all this will be um, stored on disk for my CAM operator um, to grab and use as soon as he's ready. Okay, so uh, that milling is finished and you can see now the background processing is again in a waiting state. So it's flipping between polypropylene and EVA and it's waiting for more designs to appear. So let's go back to the start uh, in ortho model and this time I'm going to create a rigid style orthotic. So I'm going to choose the standard method. I'm going to uh, create uh, a polypropylene style design. So I'll select material code, polypropylene. I'll say this one is UK men's size 11, thickness of 3. I'll have a constant thickness. I'll leave all of the other options at default. So that creates 
a rigid style design with a constant offset. Again, no additional design options are needed. So there's my finished design. Save this design, accept the fact that it's going to be automatically machined. As soon as I hit the save button, flip back to ortho mill. And again, you can see that the jobs appear in the um, available jobs list. This time, the green dot has stopped on polypropylene. So that means that ortho mill has recognized that these are polypropylene designs. Um, so it's loaded the polypropylene block, it's loaded the orthotics in that block, it's using the polypropylene milling method, it's post-processing for the machine that we'll be using for the polypropylene, polypropylene milling, and again uh, this is set up to automatically create the setup sheets as a PDF document, so that pop-up box will appear as well. Okay, um, so that's finished as well. Now the important element uh, here which I'll point out is the job ID. So all of the tape files um, that are created are stored under the job ID um, that is automatically allocated by uh, the background processors. So these job IDs and the, the list of designs that have been machined are um, fairly important. Now we can also um, flip over to the reports tab if we wanted to and we can make some checks. So I could see uh, if we've got any um, orthotics which do not have a material match. We can also see if there's any orthotics um, which have been unassigned as well.